Hello very good morning and welcome to Adava newspaper highlights Today Friday 22nd of April 2016 I am Edward Udaydas the Vasagai am Pillai with the highlights of today's newspapers As usual we have three leading newspapers of Sri Lanka for the highlights Daily Mirror Daily News and Salon Today The main headline of the Daily Mirror says Former Narahan Peter Crimes OIC remanded former narahan peter crimes oic inspector sumit champika who was arrested by the cid on wednesday was yesterday ordered to be remanded till may 5 by colombo additional magistrate tilina gamage the former oic had been questioned on several previous occasions along with several other police officers the ip was arrested on charges of covering up investigations relating to the murder of rug rights wasim tajuddin another headline says Emmer's words of wisdom for new IGP. Former President Mahinda Rajapaksa said yesterday the new Inspector General of Police should be alerted on police officers who act according to the whims of the government and harass those with dissenting political views expecting favors in return. He made these remarks at a function held in Embilipitiya on the occasion of the birthday of Venerable Husel Pitiya Sunit Ratna Thera. Liberal atmosphere a must for stopping ragging at universities PM Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe stressed the need to have a liberal atmosphere within universities as a basis for stopping the incidents of ragging Mr Vikramasinghe made these remarks while addressing a workshop organized by the University Grants Commission and the Center for Gender Studies He said as long as there was no liberal atmosphere it was difficult to stop ragging 2.8 billion US dollars treasury bond investments withdrawn bandula as much as 2.8 billion US dollars invested in Sri Lanka's treasury bonds has been withdrawn by the respective investors in recent times joint opposition MB Bandula Gunawardena alleged yesterday asserting that this caused a foreign exchange crisis he said 4 billion us dollars had been sold in the market during the past year mr gunawardena said this was done to prevent the further depreciation of the rupee against the us dollar but it was devalued to nearly 150 secondly let's move to daily news the main headline of the daily news says wasim tajuddin murder arrest of four top cops imminent serving asp retired senior dig among suspects initial inquiry into killing flowed and suspicious the criminal investigations department is likely to arrest four other senior police officers including a serving asp and a retired senior dig in connection with rugby player wasim tajuddin's murder The CID arrested Sumit Chindika Pereira, former crimes OIC of the Narahan Peter Police Station, over the same incident on Wednesday. Another news says EU lifts ban on fisheries products from Sri Lanka. The European Union has lifted the red card and associated trade measures of Sri Lanka as the country has significantly improved its national fisheries governance. EU Commissioner for Environment, Maritime Affairs and Fisheries, Carmen Vela said yesterday. In the headline says underworld gangster shoots himself during police raid. An underworld gangster allegedly involved in a number of murders, intimidation and extortion committed suicide by shooting himself during a joint operation launched by the Nigamba Law Enforcement Unit and Police Special Task Force yesterday. Finally, let's move to Salon Today. The main headline of the Salon Today says EU lifts ban on Lanka fish exports. Another headline says London's big guns boom for Queen Liz. Happy 90th birthday to its flooding. Crowds lined the streets in Windsor as the British monarch took part in a walkout and royal gun salutes greeted the queen from each of the UK's capital cities on her 90th birthday. The Prince of Wales recorded a special radio broadcast for the day in which he read an edited passage from William Shakespeare's Henry III on Twitter the queen thanked senders of happy birthday your majesty tweets in another tweet the queen said i send my best wishes to those who are celebrating their 90th birthday on this shared occasion i send my warm congratulations to you 
President writes book on Mahinda Rajapaksa. President Maithirpal Sirisen revealed on Wednesday at the Sri Lanka Foundation Institute that he has begun writing a book using the multitude of his personal experiences about the conduct of former President Mahinda Rajapaksa. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.